the weekend, I watched uh, twice. I watched this movie. Um, once to kind of just watch it and kind of get absorbed into it and it into me, I guess. And uh, the second time to begin to make sense of it for me. Um, and that, I have a lot to say about this movie, and I'll do a review on it at some point. But the movie is The Master, Paul Thomas Anderson's uh, movie from earlier this year, Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman give an amazing performance, and Amy Adams isn't half bad either. Uh, it, it's, it's an actor's movie. And this is a movie that allowed these guys to really shine in their roles. There's, um, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson, unlike, say, um, Kubrick, uh, who, uh, you know, did a million takes until he liked what he saw, Paul Thomas Anderson's more likely to do a freeform thing, almost like an actor studio type situation where they're you're given a situation and, and I don't want to say they ad lib it, but it seems to have that sense of freedom to it, more so than a Kubrick. But Paul Thomas Anderson reminds me of Kubrick. And I'll, I'll do a review on this if people want to see it. Uh, or if you're just happy with what I just said, then so be it. Uh, I think it's a great movie. I'm not sure it's a masterpiece, but I think it's a great movie. And I think it's a movie that two people can see and come away with something different. In fact, I also think you could watch it two times and come away with something different both times. So, uh, The Master, to me, is a good movie. If you want any more than that, than my, the two minutes I just gave it, then let me know and I'll be sure to do something more in line with the what I think this movie deserves, but if nobody wants to see it, then why bother? Next, uh, and really the point of this video, is to talk about three pickups I got recently at uh, FYE, <clears throat> or For Your Entertainment. goes uh, typically now just... Uh, actually, actually, I take that back. I got this at Suncoast Video, which used to be owned by, I think, Amazon, and is now owned by uh, FYE. At least I, I believe that's how it went. Or it could maybe it used to be owned by Best Buy. It's one of the two, Suncoast Video. And someone can look that up and, and verify it. I did, obviously didn't do that before I started this video. Um, anyway, Suncoast Video and FYE are now one. And I picked up three movies. And uh, the total cost for the three movies was $36. So I got these for $12 apiece. They're all used. But I think you'll see that I, I believe it's a pretty good deal for $12 apiece. And they are. And these are guaranteed, by the way, as, as if they were new. So I, I like it even better. First one is Lincoln. You know, I've been wanting this movie, and I can't seem to find it on sale anywhere. The cheapest I've seen it is like nineteen ninety nine, <clears throat> And even that, uh, it didn't come with a slip cover, which, eh, I'm kind of bummed about that. But I suppose I could cleverly get one somehow if I wanted to. I haven't seen this movie, but I know that Daniel Day-Lewis gives an impeccable performance as Lincoln. Uh, my youngest son is been dying to see this. He's a big Lincoln fan. Uh, Ebert gives it four stars. Uh, I'm going to make a video shortly on Roger Ebert. And I want to talk about Roger Ebert. Uh, and I want to talk about critics in general um, on a video here. I'll probably do that soon. Uh, anyway, it's been called a masterpiece. President Clinton introduced it at the Academy Awards when they showed a little piece from it. I think it uh, is likely a masterpiece from the scenes I've seen, but I haven't seen the movie. So anyway, Lincoln was the first one I got. The second one I got was The Dark Knight Returns, Part 1. I'm a huge fan of this book. Um, you know, it's an animated version of, uh, well, of a graphic novel that was out some years back. So... It's, uh, from what I understand, it's very, very close to, and the artwork looks really close. I mean, that scene right there with Batman and uh, uh, the, the girl Robin jumping looks uh, very, very close. Uh, the basic plot of this, if you haven't seen it, is that uh, Batman is old, and he hasn't been Batman in some time. But Gotham City is getting taken over by a bunch of thugs. And so Batman must once again don the mantle and uh, try to take on these hoods. But Batman's not quite what he used to be. He's probably 60s, in his 60s here. 
And although he's a fine specimen for 60, he's not up to uh, some of these other thugs. At least not with sheer brute strength. But Batman's never been about that. So anyway, this is Batman Returns, or The Dark Knight Returns, uh, Part 1, based on the graphic novel. Uh, and then, big shocker, the other one I got was Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Part 2. Uh, which Batman actually fights Superman in this one. I won't tell you how it turns out, because that's kind of a secret. But Superman's in it, so is the Joker. And um, I can't say a lot about it other than it's really good. Uh, the, the, uh, the graphic novel. By Frank Miller, by the way. I neglected to say that. By Frank Miller who wrote some great uh, Daredevil stuff. Uh, in fact, the best run of Daredevil ever was by Frank Miller, in my opinion. And the guy the guy is a genius when it comes to writing comics. So he wrote the comic, and this is the, uh, the Blu-ray movie uh, based on that. I always like cartoons and Blu-rays. I think they come out really nice, really sharp. Like, they're good on DVD, too. But uh, the only thing that this didn't come with was the ultraviolet copy, which I really would have liked. But the DVDs in here, and I have a way to rip DVDs, so if I have to, I'll rip it to something I can watch on my iPad and upload it. Kids like that on their iPods, too, so I can upload it to their iPods. I've come to sort of like the ultraviolet code, so if anybody has an ultraviolet code for Batman Dark Knight Returns 1 and 2 when you're not using it, uh, I would use that. My kids all have iPods, so if I put it, if I download it on one, I get it on all of them. Otherwise, i got to put it on each one individually, which is kind of a pain in the butt. That has to reside on there versus with with uh, on the on the ultraviolet. They can just sit out in space until they actually want to watch it, and then they can download it and watch it, or they can leave it on their their iPod if they want to. But anyway, that's that's why I like it because I got three kids that all have iPods and they all love this kind of stuff just like I do. A lot of extras. Um, anyway, those are the three I picked up: Lincoln, Batman. The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Bar Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2, which they're supposed to come out with a with one set with both of these, which I think is a good idea. But for $12 each, I'll, I'll deal with it. That's it, guys. I would recommend going to your FYE if you're interested in these movies. are all None of these are scratched or anything. They look like they may have been played once. And I'm happy to add these three to my collection because they're something I'll watch over and over again, all three of them probably. All right, guys, that's it for now. And uh, again, if you want to hear more on my thoughts on the master, let me know. Be happy to do that. And look for my uh, Roger Ebert video. I think that'll be an interesting one. I, I really think that uh, I have something to say. We'll see if anybody wants to hear it. But I do have something to say about Roger Ebert and critics in general. All right, guys. Take care.